Hi, I'm Dan. Uh, today I want to show you about the high tech lube bullet coating from Bayou Bullets and how you get set up to do it yourself so that you can coat your own bullets and get rid of all that messy wax on your bullets. It'll help you keep all of your dies clean, your sizing dies clean, and when you fire your bullets you won't be strangling the people three rows down on the firing range with all the smoke. Let's get started with what you need to coat your own bullets. Let's look at some of the things that you need for safety to start with. First of all, you need some gloves that you're going to want to handle all of the bullet coating so you don't get it all over your hands. Next thing you probably want is some type of respirator. You don't have to be real fancy with it, but you probably want something like that. You never, never, never want to do this in an enclosed room where you can't vacate the fumes from cooking it. All right, and then you should have a little fire extinguisher along the side so that you can uh, just in case you had a problem it's just always safe to have one All right. then the next thing you're going to need is of course some glasses always wear some glasses for safety then you're going to need some type of oven that you can cook this coating I first started with something like this and it's just simply a, uh, a little convection oven that you can get at Walmart and uh, it has a nice tray in it that's about this size as you can see this was the tray and I just coated I just put this uh, this frame around it to hold the bullets to put them in the oven it'll work well in a small oven but you can see that pretty soon you're going to want to maybe go to something a little larger and I have a over under oven over here that I found on the side of the road and I use that for mine all right there are different types of coating many different colors they have available you can buy it either in a liquid version or you can buy it in a powder version. Now let me explain the differences to you. This one is already mixed up and all you do is you put five parts of this coating with five parts of acetone and one part of the hardener and then you mix that up and you can use that in your coating. If you choose to get it in the powder form it's a little more complicated. You take 20 grams 20 grams, everybody's got a, a, a little scale that you measure all your, weigh all your powder charges and so forth, so just measure out 20 grams or 309 grains of powder and you mix it with 100 milliliters of acetone. Now the reason that it's mixed this way, it's kind of complicated, is because of the different colors, like this is candy apple red, this is uh, zombie green, well it, you can't take an even uh, teaspoon or tablespoon of it that they would have the same weights. So consistently, all you do is use 20 grains, 20 grams of the coating with 100 milliliters of acetone, and you mix them together. And I've chosen to use these nice little things from Walmart. They're just nice little Rubbermaid containers. Uh, it's easy to mix it up. It's always good to mix it up maybe the day ahead of time, give it a chance to mix. But you always shake it and mix it up before you pour it up. And you're going to want something that measures it out so that you can know how much to put on your bullets. I just have a teaspoon, a tablespoon. I found that a tablespoon works well for this size that I use over here. But this size would probably work better in a small oven. And in an even smaller oven you can do that. This one holds about 830. This one holds about 400. This one holds about 300. So just depending on how you want to do it and how big your oven is. All right, let, let me tell you about these tubes. Uh, what I did was, as I first started, I didn't know how to measure these things and how to determine I would have the right amount each time. So what I did was I had this, this particular one with that Hamilton Beach uh, convection oven, and I just determined that this amount would fit on this without any problem. And Later, I realized that I could do more, and so I graduated to this one. So this holds about uh, five pounds. This holds about seven pounds of bullets. They'll always be the same amount of weight because you've got the same volume. And so uh, it's just really the surface area that you're worried about, not really the weight. And as I graduated to a larger oven, I now can do 15 pounds at a time and probably could do a little bit more but that's enough for me to have to lift up and and carry every time I'm doing it so uh, that that's how you're going to determine this is just PVC pipe with a cap on the end of it just something simple it, what's important is that you know how many 
you're putting in there every time so that your amount of, of coating is the same. Now you're going to have to experiment and find out what colors, how it works best for you and, and how each one of them reacts differently. So this is sort of an experimental process until you get the right combination and then you'll say, okay, this is how many I need, that's how much uh, coating I put on each time. Okay, here we are. We're, we're going to take and we're going to put the bullets in here. Then we're going to add the correct amount that I've predetermined that I need. We're going to put it on top of here. And I have a timer here. You can get several of these timers. They're cheap and inexpensive. Uh, you probably should get some. I have this set for 30 seconds and it'll be counting down 30 seconds because you, what you'll see that as you start to agitate this, it's drying fast. That's what the acetone evaporates and so forth. So you don't agitate it longer than 25 to 30 seconds. If you do, you'll hear it's just all of a sudden it stops agitating. It's just one big blob. And when it does that, it's messed up. So you want to dump it out before it has a chance to get all stuck up. Once you've started agitating your bullets and you get them going and you put them in, you need to have some way to keep track of where you are in your system. And so I, I use these little bullets. I just take and put one right up here each time I coat the bullets. We're going to be running two sets at the same time. And so each time I put one over to dry, I add another bullet. That helps me keep up where I am in the system. You need to have some way to keep up with it. If you don't, you'll find yourself all mixed up and forgetting where you are. All right, let's get started. We dump our bullets in. There's one set of bullets and they're sitting in there. Agitate, agitate. Always make sure this is stirred up very well before you pour it in there. And once I pour it in, we have to start moving pretty quickly because immediately it will start to dry. So we open this up, we pour in one tablespoon. Close it up and spread it around and we turn on our timer and we start and We come over here and we spread them out. And then we come back over, reset our timer. We put up our one little bullet that tells us where we are in our setup. Now we just wait for them to dry. All right, what we've got here is a little homemade tray. I just took and uh, it took a little bit of experimenting, but it's very simple to just make it. Uh, you want some wire in the bottom that's very fine so that it doesn't leave big marks on your stuff. And uh, it can be cleaned off easily. After about four or five minutes, we're going to want to shake it one more time just to make sure the bullets move around. They're not stuck together. Once they're dry, underneath the fan, they come over and I put them into the bucket. I have it on top of a little pad in case some of them drop out. You don't want them hitting the floor. And now they're ready to go into the oven. Now we take these that we have ready to go in and we set them on there. Spread them out. And put them in there. And we start our timer. And we say that it's one time around. As you can see this is set on about 485. I could put this in there and show you that it's exact. But we're running our timer, which is counting down, from about 4 minutes and 45 seconds, 5 minutes and 45 seconds. And each time I put it in, I hit, it, I hit the second time so I can tell which, which one I'm on because it wants to be in there for uh, two cycles. Because as soon as that timer goes off, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to shake it, and then I'm going to shove it back in for another 5 minutes and 45 seconds. Then I'll push two on that. See the smoke coming out? And you'll notice that they've changed colors dramatically. And we put them back in. Start our timer again and go to two. So now I know it's on its second time around. So now we take the timer and we reset it to zero and then be ready and then we stop this one and this is ready to come out of the oven.
You can see they've already changed colors considerably. They're no longer that bright pink. Don't want to get your hands caught on that. They come over here and they go into the, the rack to cool. We set this back in here. You'll notice that these bullets look slightly splotchy after the first coating. That's perfectly normal. Don't worry about that. They will change dramatically as the second and third coating go on. Well, here we are. We've now run it through. This is our third time, and when it comes out of the oven, as soon as they cool, they're ready to go in your gun. Look how beautifully colored they are. Nice, beautiful red. Just really pretty. and very shiny. All done, just as pretty as you can see. Really pretty. Nice, uh, nice coating all the way around. Now, what we need to do is we need to check and see if they meet the test. So here's what we do. So what we do is we take and put some clean acetone on there. We take your bullet and we scrub it on there just as hard as we can rub. If any color comes off, which it didn't, it's no good. So it's good. No color came off, it's just fine. Then we have one other test. Let me show you what it is. The next test to see if it will flake off. Looks pretty good to me. Once again, this is the high tech lube uh, bullet coating from Bayou Bullets. You can either get it in the powdered form or you can get it in the liquid form. If you have questions about how to mix it, or how, to, how much it costs or where to get it, just call them. They'll put you on. Thank you very much.